Hey Power Appers, this is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to do a cascading lookup with a model driven application using Dataverse. So stay tuned. So, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to show you how to cascade a series of drop-down boxes in a model-driven application. So let's jump right into it. It'll be a short video today. So imagine I have an application like this. I cobbled together this in just a few minutes here. I uh, didn't want to have you guys watch me build this, but essentially I create some data here and I want to create a cascade between the company and the contact. So why show contacts that don't work at the existing company? On the left side here, let me kind of refresh this again here. There we go. There we go. So when I look at the, on the left side, we have a series of accounts, company one, company three, and our other company. And then I have contacts at those companies. Where this might also apply would be like a business unit kind of cascade, where I select a business, the finance business unit, and I see the people in the business unit, or countries to states, states, to uh, cities and so on and so on and so on. So there's a really easy way to do this in model driven applications, but I wanna show you here what the symptom is going to look like by default. So when I create this cascade and I, se I select um, uh, company two, for example, I should only be seeing company two's employees. So first of all, you're noticing that we have the recent contacts that show up. That's a flaw that I wanna make sure I remove in my case. And when I hit the magnifying glass, I get all of company two CEOs and company three CEOs. So that's what we're trying to fix in this video. To start with, we have to make sure our data will support this. So in our a contact table, which is our child table of an account, we have to make sure there's a relationship between the child and the parent. In other words, is there a, in the contact table, is there an account lookup there? In the city table, is there a state? In the state table, is there a country, for example? Uh, in, the, in the employee table, is there a business unit? So you have to have that lookup that allows this cascade to work. Once you have your data modeled correctly, then in my table here, I basically have a series of lookups. Account, contact, and then just a, a, a garbage kind of column here as well. Oops, let me go in there, excuse me, expense. So in my expense table, I've got the account column, the, the, of course, the contact column, and because there's a relationship between contact and account, again, keep in mind, city and state, state and country, because that relationship exists, this is gonna be very, very easy to do. So, first of all, I'm gonna to go to my form, and we're gonna modify this form to reflect two things. I'm gonna to go to my main form. Uh, we want it to make sure we don't show recent items. So I don't wanna show things like, uh, for the this people here, I don't wanna show company three CEO because it happens to be a recent contact that I happen to use. So I'm gonna eliminate that, and then I'm also gonna only show the pieces that are there. Luckily, they've modernized this recently. So what I need to do is select contact, and on the right side, in just a few moments here, you'll see high, uh, disable most recently used items. So that's going to get rid of that, 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 those, uh, that pieces up top there. Once I do that, you'll also see down below, again, they've just recently modernized this, filtering. I'll select my filter and I'll say, yeah, filter only related rows. Well, what is related here? I have two, I have a, I'm gonna base it on company. This is my, my many to many relationships I have in this table. So we can see that there's, yep, I want to base it on company. And then what is my relationship in the company? By default, if you want to do something like this, where you're going from contacts to accounts, uh, there's two relationships here, actually three relationships. One is for the primary contact. I don't, want, I don't want to see just the primary contacts. I want to see anybody that has that company as their, their piece here. So I'm going to change this relationship to company name. Okay, so once I select that, and these are the relationships when I created the lookup between contact and account. And it's already there for these two tables. When I created that though, it will automatically do this. I'm also going to not allow my users to change this filter, so I'm gonna automatically do that uh, here as well. So I'm gonna uncheck those pieces. Let me go ahead and get my face out of the way here so you can see this one more time. Again, I, I selected, the, selected the, um, the relationship here between contact and company. So I selected that I wanna filter this list based on the company. Then I also selected the company name here 
for this in particular one. So if this happened to be a, a state relationship, whoop, let me go back there again. If this happened to be a state relationship, I would say, for example, that I want to filter it down and I would change this to something like country. And then I would have, I would choose a relationship name that I have between city and, uh, and our, our uh, state and country. So just another example, the same thing. Now that I've done that, I'll go ahead and save and publish this to get that out there. I should just hit publish, but I'm gonna pay the price right now. I'll publish this and then get that off, off to the races here. So what is this going to do? Now this, again, was recently modernized. This, the only way of doing this in the past was use, using the classic editor, but they've now fixed this to where it's only a click away now. So once we have that done, our next step is to go to the app and test this out. It's gonna remove the most recent people and we'll only be able to see company three CEO, for example. So let's go back over here again. Let me do a hard refresh of the application. So control refresh to make sure I get all the latest metadata. There we go and reload that. And I'll pick my random little expense here once it comes open, it's gathering the latest metadata. Pick my random expense. Notice that um, when I do this, I did not do it for accounts here. So that's, that's fine though. I'll pick company two. And when I hit the magnifying glass for this, I'm only getting company two CEOs and recent is also gone. If I were to select uh, Crappy Cars Inc., uh, hit the magnifying glass there again, you're gonna see I've got Brian and I've got Snuggles McMuffin. And then likewise for, for company three. So really, really neat way of, of kind of cascading this. This is also easy, of course, in a model driven app. This does work, by the way, uh, in portals, our power pages as well. So anything we do here, if the power page was using this form, it would also work there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching this and hope you enjoyed this session. If you enjoy, want to see more videos on power apps like this, please do subscribe and let us know you enjoyed this by hitting the thumbs up. Uh, this is part of our training we do at Pragmatic Works. You can find that training at pragmaticworks.com. We do hackathons and one-on-one -on -one mentoring to help you get unstuck from your problems. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.